Oh, hey, Lionel. Oh, hey, Clyde. Uh, how are things going for today's show with planning and everything? Oh, well, you know, everything's all set up and ready to go. Uh, all the guests are here, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. Oh, that's great. Uh, you've been doing a great job with the hosting lately. And I was talking to Gary, too, and he's really proud of you. Oh, well, that's great to hear, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, oh, why don't we get started? It looks like it's about time. All right, uh, is everyone ready? Yeah. All right, uh, roll the opening credits. <laughs> Hello, folks, and welcome back to another edition of NL Now here on NTV. My name is Mr. Clyde Washington, and I am pleased to be your host today, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in and choosing to spend part of your Saturday morning here with us at the NL Now studios. Today on the show, we have a fantastic lineup of two musical guests that we're very excited to have here today, and we hope that you will enjoy them as much as we do. Now, later on in the show, we welcome back to the NL Now stage the legendary Corey Crew, and he's celebrating a very special milestone this year that we will talk about. Plus, he'll play a classic tune for us and chat about his latest projects. But for now, we have a song from our other wonderful musical guest to kick off today's program. He was nominated for the 2022 Music NL Folk Artist of the Year Award and has just recently released his second studio album titled Just Let Me Be Mad. Here he is now, folks, performing the title track from that release. Please give a warm welcome to the NL Now Musical Guest Soundstage for Jared Watt. Waterman. Wish I could see the world through your eyes. All I see is clouds. You see in the sky Rain is pouring down All over my head To you it's just a fuel For our flower bed Just let me be mad At what we never had Something I can't do I'm just too in love with you Something I could never, ever do Every time I look The price of gas goes up But you say that's okay Great night for a walk Can't afford to go eat out Food prices are so high you Say this plant a veggie garden Something I've always wanted to try Just let me be mad At what we never had Something I can't do I'm just too in love with you It's something I could never, ever do Guess we'll never travel Go to a foreign land You say there's a beach just down the road 
and I hear it has some sand. Just let me be mad at what we never had. There's something I can't do. I could never Just let me be mad Oh, at what we never had Something I can't do I'm just so in love with you Something I could never I could never ever do Thank you Welcome back to NL Now Clyde Washington here with one of today's great special guests, Mr. Corey Crew. It's great to have you back on NL Now. Well, hello, Clyde. Well, it's really, I guess I should call you Mr. Washington. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like your hair, too. Really oh, nice you. hair, huh? Yeah, uh, I, I, I haven't got the same man, <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Corey, uh, it's been a couple years since you've been on our show, so uh, what have you been up to recently? Well, I've been uh, re I've retired from teaching, of course, uh, mm -hmm. uh, a couple of years ago, and I came home, and uh, I've been just uh, sitting. I, I did a couple of shows there for a couple home year. I was down the Grand yes. Bank and, uh, and a couple of Entrepass, a couple of other places, you know. But uh, mostly, uh, uh, since I retired, and uh, if I do do shows now, it, it shows that uh, I like to do as a special guest, maybe, or... Yes. Or uh, you know, or have a band with me and and do a mm -hmm. half hour show. But I really love media. I, uh, I'm a, I'm a TV uh, addict. Yes. I, I just love doing TV. I really do, Clyde. You mm -hmm. like you like uh, doing TV, Clyde? I do enjoy it quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, uh, I sing uh, just about every week. I sing on YouTube. I'll do a yes. song and uh, I'll do a song on Facebook. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's really nice to be here on NL now. Yes, of course. Yeah. Now uh, you mentioned doing some songs on uh, YouTube and Facebook so how does it feel to uh, still have people listening and enjoying your music so many years after you've started well I can't believe it because uh, uh, as Corey and Trina we we would travel around and we would get 200 200 people to show 150 200 mm -hmm. people sometimes 300 but mostly yeah. 200 people and uh, and and you know now I can just go on uh, Facebook now and and mm -hmm. next thing you know uh, there's a uh, seven thousand views or eight thousand mm -hmm. views and uh, okay. it's it's uh, I communicate a lot with uh, people who saw us years ago and and now of course uh, they're seeing me and and everyone that uh, responds and says awesome I mm -hmm. respond back and I yes. says thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> now you mentioned just before we started here that this is a pretty big milestone year. Uh, 50 years, I think you mentioned, since Corey and Trina started performing together. Is that right? Yeah, we started in 1973, and, mm -hmm. uh, and we played right up until, of course, Trina passed away in 2007. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and now I'm on my own, but uh, yes. it's, uh, yeah, it's 50 years of uh, playing in front of people and for people, mm -hmm. and I'm still enjoying it, uh, but mostly now... Uh, it, Except for theaters, uh, I, I mm -hmm. like uh, Facebook and YouTube as my stage, yeah. and, and of course NTV is my mm -hmm. biggest big, my biggest stage. <laughs> <laughs> and I brought along a gift for you, because oh. in memory of uh, 50 years, I'm going to donate to uh, Clyde. Mm -hmm. I'm going to donate our first album in 1973, ah. and here we are. It's wow. uh, Corey and Trina number one. That's amazing. There we go. Thank there you very is. much. Okay. That's great. Uh, Clyde, you... you uh, play every one of them songs tonight. I will do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> just lay that there. All right. Now, uh, Corey, we're going to do something now we've been doing with all of our guests this season. It's a little thing you may remember from last time called Get to Know Me. 
So I'll ask you uh, five questions and you'll come back with the first thing that pops into your head. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Start with your favorite food. My favorite food is fish. Mm. And I don't care if it's cod tongues or cod fillets or what it is, capelin, squid. Mm -hmm. I love fish. Yes. Your favorite color. My favorite color. They say I look best in red. Mm. Your favorite thing about living in Newfoundland and Labrador. It's always the people. Some mm -hmm. people love the scenery and I do too, but it's the people. Your favorite thing to do in your spare time? Always music, always music. Mm -hmm. I'll either play the violin some a little bit, and then the accordion a little bit, and then I'll play the mandolin a little bit, and mm -hmm. then I'll play the piano a little <laughs> bit, and then a little bit more, more, more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your favorite thing about being a musician? It's be Whenever I sing, I'm always thinking that I'm communicating with the, with the audience or with the person who's listening. So, mm -hmm. uh, and I like uh, happy songs mostly. I do sing sometimes a, a cheating song, but, uh, mm -hmm. but I, I like ballads mm -hmm. and, uh, and I like happy songs. Uh, so I like to make people as happy as possible. Thanks again, Corey, for coming in today. It's been great chatting with you here on the show. Now, folks at home, we're going to hear more from Jared Waterman after the commercial break. But for now, you are in for a real treat. Please welcome to perform The Wolf is at the Door, a Corey and Trina classic, which is inspired by true events, as Corey was just telling me off screen, from their 1978 album, Songs for Laughing and Dancing. Here is Mr. Corey Crew. <laughs> There's 40,000 or my head, the wolf is at the door. Finance companies on the phone can't answer it no more. Two years ago we was living with dead, had nothing to call our own. Got so fed up we went down to the bank, got an $8,000 loan. Spent all that money on the very first day and charged up a thousand more. Got a truck and camper at Ford Motor Credit for a coat from Dolly's store. Then we charged up a washer and a fridge and a stove, Chesterfield beds and chairs, blankets and dishes from Eaton's catalog, and a TV from Simpson Sayers. Got a mortgage on the house for 25 years. It cost 100000 by then. Income tax man wants $900, says you put me in the pen. Yes, the wolves are knocking at our door, and they keep coming back. They're beating on the windows, jumping on the roof. Ain't much more we can hack. So we let them in, and here we are. It's the wolf who answers the door. Took right over, even took our bed, and we're sleeping on the floor. So if you close the house and a voice says, woof, don't think it's all that bad. The wolf now lives where we used to live, and we're back living with dead. Welcome back, folks, to NL Now on NTV. Clyde Washington here, and I'm joined by today's musical guest, Jared Waterman. Thank you so much for coming in today. You're welcome, Clyde. Thank you. Now, you <laughs> recently put out a new album, and we heard the, uh, the title track from that earlier on in the show. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, that's a song called Just Let Me Be Mad, which uh, for anyone who knows me, I'm not mad very often. <laughs> it's kind of a, uh, a little back and forth song between two people two friends or a couple or whatever and mm -hmm. uh one person has a certain perspective and the other person has another perspective and uh someone is venting or frustrated and the other the other person in the song for this for this instance is keeps trying to don't worry about it it'll get better or yeah. this or that and then it comes a point where the second person realizes I think they just want to vent. They just need to get it all out and be mad. So they don't want to hear all the, it's going to be better right now. Just let them, let them uh, air their frustrations. So yes. I kind of wrote it 
after talking with a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. And I wrote it the next morning. So I had a lot of fun writing it. I'm lucky with some songs. I say I'm lucky and people laugh because uh, there's probably 40 songs that don't, that don't make it. But when I get mm-hmm. one, when I get one, I say, oh, man, I was lucky. The pen wrote it itself. I didn't have to do anything. But yes. uh, anyways, this one was kind of one of those. I put the pen down and didn't even know what the next line was going to be. Mm-hmm. And it ended up being, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, I must say. I named the album after it and got some shirts after it. <laughs> yes, it's a great tune. Now, Jared, where can people uh, hear this album or pick up a copy if they'd like to check it out? Well, right now I got uh, albums at Fred's Records mm-hmm. and the Battery Cafe and uh, anywhere you can buy records or uh, CDs around town. I'm very excited to have it on vinyl this time around. So uh, uh, for me, it's something I needed to do for myself because I, I started collecting vinyl probably five or six years ago. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to have a uh, something that someone could lay on their turntable. And yes. uh, it's also available online. And um, I must say I'm having a lot, of, a lot of success with some streams and uh, mm-hmm. that helps out for people yes, like me, course. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, uh, we're going to do a little something now, Jared, that we're doing with all of our guests on this season of the show. It's a little thing called Get to Know Me, where I'll ask you five questions and you'll come back with the first answer that pops into your head. Okay. All right. Your favorite food? Mm, thai food. Mm, your favorite color? Blue. Your favorite thing about living here in Newfoundland and Labrador? Oh, it is a part of me. It's in me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A dream vacation spot for you? Newfoundland Labrador. (laughs) And if you could pick any musician to collaborate with on a song, who would you pick and why? Mm. Uh, My mentor is gone. It's uh, Mm -hmm. John Prine. Mm. But uh, if we had to talk about someone that was already or that's still here, it would probably have to be Jason Isbell or Mm -hmm. Seth or Scott Abbott from the Mm. Abbott Brothers. Good choices. Mm. Now, uh, folks at home, uh, we'll be right back after this quick break with one more song to close out the show from Jared Waterman. I spend so much time on my phone Look down for a minute and there you were gone Why do I worry about being right? Cause it ain't worth me being up all night I'm done telling my story instead of writing my book I'm done showing up for other people to look I'm done fighting battles that nobody wins Every day I wake up my journey begins Every day I wake up my journey begins I no longer care about what people say Cause they're gonna say whatever they want anyway In a world where everyone wants to be heard I'm sitting here in silence, free as a bird I'm done telling my story instead of writing my book I'm done showing up for other people to look I'm done fighting battles that nobody wins Each day I wake up, my journey begins Each day I wake up, my journey begins I wanna be a snowflake that falls to the ground I wanna land flat, the wind spins me around I could build a castle of someone else's dreams Sitting in a room full of memories so perfect it screams I'm done telling my story instead of writing my book I'm done showing up for other people to look I'm done fighting battles that nobody wins Each day I wake up, my journey begins Each day I wake up, my journey begins They say loose lips, they sink ships, but the water inside's what causes her to tip. Now I'm just rambling on, and here's a good spot to finish my song. I'm done telling my story instead of writing my book. I'm done showing up for other people to look. I'm done fighting battles that nobody wins. Each day I wake up, my journey begins. I'm done telling my story instead of writing my book. I'm done showing up for other people to look. I'm done fighting battles that nobody wins. Each day I wake up, my journey begins. 
Each day I wake up, my journey begins. Done telling my story. Well, folks, we've just about come to the end now of today's episode of NL Now. On behalf of all of us here behind and in front of the camera at NL Now Productions, we'd like to thank you all so much for tuning in and let you know as the viewer how much we deeply appreciate your support with each and every new episode. Thanks as well today to our fantastic special guests, Jared Waterman and Corey Crew, as well as all of our friends at NTV. We would very much like to see you all back here again next Saturday at 10.30 a.m. Newfoundland time for another all-new episode of NL Now. Our special guests next week are ones that you will not want to miss. We've got our musical guest slot covered by the lovely Rosemary Lawton and and then our friend Troy Stuckless from Jelly Bean Entertainment will be here with some very special reptile friends, which I am so excited for, and I hope you are too. Until then, I'm Clyde Washington, and uh, here to play us out today is a tune from the gift that I received earlier from Mr. Corey Crew himself. It's the record called Songs from Newfoundland, a Corey and Trina variety show. See you next week, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's program. Hit it. Is that thrill?